Kia ora guys, good morning, welcome back to New Zealand. That was the chair moving. He's proving it. Anyway, coffee time. I had a girl at work the other day, a friend at work, asking me what I shoot my videos on, what camera I use to shoot my videos on. And when I told her an iPhone 7, she was kind of, uh, she was quite surprised actually. And to be honest, I'm still quite surprised that, you know, the quality that comes out of the iPhone 7 is very good, really good. You know, I, I unless you blow it up on a massive, massive screen, I can't tell much difference between that and a normal camera. It might be just my eyes, I don't know, probably is. The downside to the iPhone 7, because to be fair, it's a works phone, and uh, there's unlimited storage on there, so I'm, I'm constantly around recording videos, I'm constantly on my computer and deleting them and creating space all the time. It's just a pain in the ass, to be honest. So for ages, I've been agonizing for buying a, buying a new phone, a dedicated phone for the job. And I've looked at the Canon M50, which looks really good. I've looked at the uh, Sony A6400, which looks good. Even looked at the DJI Osmo Pocket, which looks fantastic looks really I'm really I really do like that one but I'm weighing it up weighing pros and cons up all over the place and to and, and then, I, then I, I literally I was in one of the local electronic shops and I was just about to shell the money out on a M50 and then I ran out of the shop virtually ran out of the shop and give me a head a shake went back in again almost got the pocket luckily the people were busy in there so they didn't get to me in time if they got to me a split second sooner I'd have dished the cash out straight away luckily for me they didn't so I went, sat down, thought about it again. Watched a million videos. Now, for me personally, my day job, I'm a press photographer, newspaper photographer, and I'm carrying about a big kit of gear. Two, D, two, D, two DSLRs, a range of lenses, some bloody heavy kit there. So when it comes to my days off and shooting my videos like I like to do, I go up into the hills and walking about and just doing what I do. I like to travel light. Hence, my Fuji X100F, no lenses, just one lens, that's all I've got. So I challenge myself every day when I go out with that baby to come up with something with one lens. And it's a challenge, but it, it works, it's good. Video recording gear, I've used the iPhone 7, which is which is great, but no storage. So, so this is it. So basically, I, I came to the conclusion that shit, why do I need more kit? Why do I want to take more kit with me? Right, why well, I just need something with more storage on? So then I went to the another electronic shop, almost bought myself a brand new iPhone 11 Max Plus Pro balls, almost got myself the S10 Plus thing, whatever. They were talking thousands. I mean, literally, they're talking thousands. And I'm like, I don't want to spend that. I really don't want to spend that. So, and we're on Trade Me, which is a local auction site in New Zealand. And I found a place just over in Napier, a guy selling refurbished, mobile phones and I found this one this is a Samsung S9 plus and I was humming and adding do I go Android or do I go iPhone which I'm used to which could not could not split them watched so many videos comparing the two models and uh, eventually I came up with the Samsung so that, that's the upshot so this, god what am I waffling about this is killing you effectively this is an introduction to my first ever video with the Samsung S9 Plus. First impressions. I like it. It's good. I really do like it. I struggled a little bit with the I struggled a little bit with the exposure on the video uh, in that it kept sh dropping in out. It changed every time I turned the camera it was it was changing exposure all the time. I could not find the exposure lock. On the iPhone you press what you want to expose on and it locks it. So no matter where you turn your camera, bang, the exposure is the same. Fantastic, so easy. Could not find it. I'm pressing the bloody button, pressing the frigging screen, I could not make the frigging lock thing come on. On stills, on the on the camera mode, the stills, locks, easy. Auto exposure, auto focus, lock, easy, peasy. On the video, <clears throat> no, not happening. So this is my first learnings. I've since got back to the, uh, back to base and I've sat down and watched a few videos and I've, I've played with it. Phone and, and I've sussed it out. Basically, you, you start recording your video, you, 
you press where you want to expose for and a little light bulb comes up and you adjust that as and when you want it and where you adjust it that's where it stays end of it's just so simple so simple but i didn't know that at the time so the first one's a little bit bit patchy exposure wise anyway uh what's the other thing i, I learned from it i think that was it there's a couple of places in the video you'll, you'll notice where when, when i come up to the camera i'm talking to the camera because I'm only hand holding the camera, so it's, it's not too far away from me, Steve. Got unfortunately pretty big close up to my fat ugly mug. But anyway, what I did find is that when I'm talking to the camera, I'm quite close up. It, it seems to, it seems to, the only word I can, the only way I can put it is, it seems to pulse. The video seems to pulse, so it sort of comes at you and then it goes away, and it's just like a little flicker pulse thing. And it was ticking me off. I just couldn't understand that. I couldn't wait up. By what I'm understand now i think that is my auto expo sorry auto focus lock it wasn't it, it was hunting for me the focus was hunting for me so as i'm moving it's, it's kind of pulsing it's hunting so again now i know about the how to lock exposure lock focus should be no issues in future so you know i, I could have scrapped this video i really could have scrapped it because it's you know it's nothing spectacular the end image you know, if you've sat through this you might as well sit for the next three five minutes for christ's sake you know why not what else you got to do on a Christmas? Anyway, so at the end, the end image I came out with, I really liked, really liked it. It wasn't what I was looking for, but it's what I found, and it's just, I like it. It's pretty cool. So basically, upshot is, this is my first video with the S9 Plus. Uh, hope you enjoy it, guys, and if you do, give us a little thumbs up. Give us a little comment down below. Negative, positive, whatever. I'm, I'm a big lad. Well, I'm not a big lad, but I'm a, I'm a little fella, but I can take criticism. Most of the criticism goes over my head because I'm not short, so it's all good. Uh, other than that, hope you enjoy this video, guys. A lot of waffling, it. Hell of a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, hell of a lot of waffling in this video. Uh, but it's just my introduction to the uh, my new shooting camera, and, and basically th that's the thing as well because I don't need the phone, so I've not got it connected to internet or anything like that, I've not got a plan, so it's just a, it basically it's just a phone that records, uh, which is great, you know, fine, you know, I've got the other phone for making phone calls if I need them, or text messages or whatever, that's all good, uh, what I did, what I didn't understand, right, and my, my girlfriend told me this last night, and I, I didn't, well, I didn't get this, right, even though I've not got a plan, you know, a, a, a payment plan on my phone, I can still tap into Wi-Fi wherever I am, I didn't get that, I didn't understand that, oh god, I'm stupid, but, Great tip. Cheers, girl. All right, Capitano. Have a good day. Yeah. Chair again. Almost forgot. The other thing that I'm really incredibly impressed about, this little Samsung S9 Plus, the audio coming out of it. When I was on the hills recording this video, you're going to watch in a minute if you're still sticking around. Hopefully, yeah. I didn't use the Rode Mini Mic Me, whatever they call it. I didn't have that on board. I, I, I just got, to be honest, I just got a bit lazy, to be honest. And I just, I wanted to sort of play with the phone and I couldn't be asked putting the bloody external mic in, all that sort of thing. Because to be fair, it was just a test, complete test. So I just, I wanted to test, test the video quality. Anyway, the audio that's come out without a, without an external mic on, the audio is fantastic. I think it's brilliant, really good. We had a little bit of wind up there. It was blowing a little bit, swirling a little bit, but there's no, there's no detectable, no major n noise on there. There's a little bit, there's a little bit, but nothing, nothing like I used to endure with the iPhone 7. You know, it, it's really, really good. The audio is quite crisp. Anyway, this bit, this sequence that I'm frigging, this sequence that I'm waffling on about now, which you're probably bored out of your skulls with, because I'm bored out of my skull talking about it. But this little bit that I'm recording now, this has got the the Rode mic me, micro mic me, micro mini mic me. It's got the little external mic on anyway with the big dead cat thing. So, you know, the audio is going to be different again. So, I just thought it was interesting. I thought the audio was really interesting part of it. Never really thought about it, but quite impressed. So, all in all, thumbs up and circle thing with rabbit ears for the uh, the Samsung. Cheers, guys. Check it out. Good guys, welcome back to New Zealand. I'm puffing and panting like an old one. I am an old one. My first hike for about 10 days, I guess. I was up here about 10 days ago, 
and a uh, bit of an accident went over on the old ankle and uh, laid me up for a few days a good few days but I'm okay I'm back now uh, I never mentioned it I just carried on you know bulldog spirit all that sort of stuff uh, my god I'm feeling it now 10 days layoff and Jesus had to get out tonight finished work we had a lovely day, cracking day and then this big bank of cloud rolled in it's quite quite grey and moody, quite thick but right on the horizon there we've got maybe a I'd say a 10 minute window when the sun gets down below that and it is going to be amazing there's not a cloud in the sky there, it's just like a a little 10 minute window and I tell you we are going to get some epic epic light hills appear all browned off uh, it's just going to look stunning it really is uh, but my thing is I've got to find a find a subject find a location to shoot so I better crack on so uh, come on guys let's go up this bloody hill Whew. bring it on <laughs> So that guys, as you can see, is a slither of, slither of the light we're going to get. I'm going to have to be a bit careful going down here guys. Don't want to roll this bloody injury again. I told you, I never mentioned it. I just want to push on a little bit further. Get up over the next bluff and I think I've probably got 10, 5, five or 10 minutes before that sun gets down where I want it. Uh, and then I'm going to have to work bloody fast. Because it's not going to give me a lot of time to get what I want but I think I've got in my head already what I want to do so we're just gonna try try and get there in one piece let's keep going guys keep going push on guys is about that the light's just about gone now when I predicted 10 minutes of light we got maybe three four minutes it's just about gone now uh, had to work like hellfire to get to this location it wasn't my it wasn't my chosen location uh, but it worked out better I think my chosen location was just hills dark sky a bit of light not too impressed moved on down to this area a little bit further down the track and it's just the few farm paddocks a few old fences running along and separating the paddocks and with a golden light with the golden light hitting it beautiful golden grass golden grass we've got the mount kaharaniki on the horizon there that was quite misty quite uh, quite hazy over there i think that made a good shot quite like that not had a good chance to have a look at it yet. But I think it's nice. I think it'll work a treat. So basically that, that's the light done. Uh, nothing else going to happen here with any light. Uh, the last 10 minutes before sunset, there's, there's quite a bank of cloud on the horizon, so that's, that's going to kill us. But, i save you. Sunset. We've got a lot of high, high altitude, dark, moody cloud. We've got a sun that's going to be setting right on the horizon there. And I think, I really do think it's going to kick off. I've said that so many times lately. When I predicted a sunset, it's not happened. When I've not predicted one, we've had a beauty, so who knows? Go figure. Anyway, the upshot is, stick around here for a while. That subject in front of me, not so much behind me, but the subject in front of me, behind you, that's... That's going to light up quite nicely. It's a big old rock. 
stand of pine trees running down towards it. It's going to make a nice, uh, nice little shot. And if you get some good light over the top of it, get a good red sky over the top of it, I think we're going to be in for a bit of, I think we'll be in for a winner. All right, let's see how it goes. something a bit special here tonight. Unfortunately, my prediction of a cracking sunset has kicked me in the balls again. Not to worry, these things happen. Alright guys, I'm out of it. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.